Custy Graphics. hello guys welcome back to my channel in case it's your first time here consider subscribing my name is maureen shani today i have an amazing guest this guy has been a friend since uh time immemorial <laughs> and uh, this guy uh has been to politics and uh, many different aspects you'll forgive us for the background noise because we are at us at some place where there is a bit uh noise uh let's get to the video hi Hi, how Which, are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm very good, Maureen. <laughs> oh, I was rushing. Okay, sorry for that. Um, yeah. Tell us your name kindly. A pleasure meeting you. My name is Maloba Albert. Uh, I've been a, a student leader. Um, all along in my life, I've been a leader in all the institutions I've been. What? And uh, apparently, I was the university's president's council of Kenya, aside from Big Mo University. Right now, all those titles are held as emeritus. We are now in the, into the in, we are now into national politics. I've been uh, vying also for current ward, but I was on the under jubilee party. And my certificate was revoked because they wanted to field uh, one candidate from Azmila Umoja. Wait, yeah. Wait. What happened? Zoning automatically as it is, uh, you know, with our political parties. They are in the hands of people. How I wish they were not in people's hands, whereby it is automated who, who is making, who is, has a ground and all that. Yeah, even on the, on the interviews for nominations, I won. I got all the other candidates endorsing me, but uh, finally it was uh, selectively out that they have to go with one candidate and wish him well. I'm now... Um, supporting other gubernatorial candidates, they are, they are win in come 9, 2022. And uh, I'm also running my businesses. I'm a business person. Okay. Yeah. Being a fact that you've been a leader since you started doing this, uh, kindly tell us uh, the challenges you've been facing as a leader yourself. Uh, the challenges faced by a leader, of course, they are what informs the leaders today, not what was, what was informing. Uh, some times ago, and uh, we deal with the situ every situation as it comes. In terms of challenges, they all happen. Maybe specifically when I speak about being a university student leader, we've had issues with the Higher Education Lords Board. Uh, I, I was the first person to write an attempt to make it a grant. We have seen every leader who is now running for president picking it up, but those are my ideas. For the comrades, you remember I was fighting so much for the comrades in terms of their help to come in time. Um, we have had challenges of hunger in most of our institutions because of the economic uh, issue that we are currently having around the weekend. Previously, Maisha Mekua Ngumu, Kwa Comrades, yeah, some comrades go for lunch only on Ngumu and water. I remember one day where I sacrificed my meal and slept hungry was when a comrade texted me and uh, all he needed was to have a meal of 10 shillings. Salin to me, our Ujumba Kanambia, Kiongozi, if you can send me 10 shillings to pay Skuma so that I go and eat. That was my serious highlight that uh, uh, I ever experienced somebody asking for 10 shillings and I, I just had to sacrifice my entire meals. And from then I hosted this, uh, this comrade and I, all my life I had adopted him while on campus just to make sure that he's having a meal and all that because of the day-to-day -day challenges. So uh, we've seen that you have different uh, platforms, rather different youth platforms that you are really, uh, you are really working with. So uh, tell us one of the most successful things that you've done as a leader. Oh, good. The most successful thing that I've done as a leader you know, we have different types of leaders. I'm um, one leader who, one, gives 
I'm action oriented. I also give hope to my to my people, and uh, I work well as a and other team under team working, and uh, I've always made it suitable that for all the people that I'm leading with, you know, you cannot serve any area as an individual, yeah. however much you might be well. But I've always made most of my duties delegated by colleague leaders. Mine is to oversee, to give an oversight, and to take people in the right direction. So successfully, I think that's how even I made on campus mm -hmm. uh, when I was president and even at the university's president's council. You remember it was uh, a, a moment whereby we even fought for the COVID-19 to, because there was COVID-19, the universities were closed. And we had to request the Ministry of Education to return us back to campus. We did demonstrations and uh, some actions to ensure we went back to school in time. And that's why we graduated in time. There has also been this issue about many student leaders not maybe uh, completing their studies in time because of the issues that uh, come and follow them thereafter. But I want to thank God that, um, you know, they say a leader is just like the, the flock he or she leads. And uh, I will entirely tell you, it was all successful all through because of planning, being a good communicator, and working as a team. And the majority of us, just to mention, uh, they graduated at that time. In my class uh, of stroke that we, uh, during my tenure, we didn't find anybody going for demonstration or strike. All things we are doing them in time and handling issues in time as a leader. Wow, interesting. Um, Maluba, you've talked about being zoned out as a jubilee leader, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, um, as a, you were in jubilee or as me? Or? I was in jubilee. As a jubilee leader, you were zoned out. How did you take the zoning? Uh, it, of course, it's normally a very hectic time of anyone's life. You know, you have invested your finances, you've invested in friends, you have registered. Like for me personally, I registered new 1,000 votes in current world. But at the moment, uh, you see, I, you leave your people by the roadside. Just because you as a leader, you have been zoned, you're not moving forward. And that's why we, I'll say that um, it, it was quite challenging. I never mention things to do with, you know, Miss Penangi stress, Miss Penangi depression. You, you, I put all those aside. I use the word challenging. Mm -hmm. It was challenging to to know that, and um, I had to reorganize. I talked to my key stakeholders in my political life. I consulted. They cancelled me, and then we moved forward, and we move forward forever. We are still on the rose, on the race, and on the rose. We know we will get there one time, even if not today. Onajua kawaida yangu. Yasa yangu mimi, nisi yasa safi. Na tutarudi pale. No, the next question is, are you still in Azimio? Brother yeah, yeah. You know, Azimio coalition is where I began with, and I'm still there. Uh, we look forward that our side wins uh, after the August election. Why, why, why not UDA now that they zoned you out? We <laughs> expect that you could have moved to another party. I don't handle politics with the emotions. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now, the next question I'm going to ask you is, uh, do you think that uh, Raila is the most influential person in Kenya, or Ruto is? Baba is an enigma. Uh -huh. If I was to explain to you what an enigma is, mm -hmm. it's like a thunder. Uh, William Ruto is also trying on his side. We have to appreciate the fact that he's also running and he has given us good competition. So, the, either of the two. Uh, Ruto is trying. We have to appreciate him. And uh, he's giving us a good war to fight. Okay, so uh, the next question I'm going to ask Malo, but there are a lot of student leaders who are looking up to you. There are a lot of students who are looking up to you. So maybe what can you tell them? I can tell them to always focus, especially the student leaders. Is that what you mentioned? 
Yeah, once you are a Sweden leader, kuna kiburi na kujanga, kuna maringo na because that time you are you are more of a VIP amongst the equals, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, once you start feeling that in your head, that's where trouble starts. You, I can just advise them that yes, leadership is part of our lives in campuses and the comrades' power to lead. We have to have the toughest texture of what describes that. And uh, that is to provide, plan yourself well as leaders, uh, do your academic work. Remember in that university or a college or an institution, you went there to learn. Put your academics first, perform well, uh, that's what I used to do, and then I come second to lead the students. Because kuna vitu mingi za kufanya, Mori. Masa ndiyo machachi. Uh, okay, now um, is Maloba married? Ah, oh, oh, is this person married? That's the question I'm sure someone is asking. Uh, yeah. Even even those people who you got to to register as voter, uh, voter, in any voters in current, uh, they are wondering: Is this person married? You know, I've never seen you with a lady. Uh, <laughs> Except today we are standing with you, but I've never. Uh, I usually see you with people, the likes of Sean. The likes of Mwishi, some Mwishimiwas, but I've never seen you with the leg. I think that is an understatement. <laughs> uh, I, that's a very big an understatement. Okay. Not unless you want to describe me in terms of where is my girlfriend, who is, whom you're supposed maybe to see. Uh, okay, why are you walking alone? <laughs> <laughs> Am I that's, walking alone? Yeah, you're alone. <laughs> yeah, I'm here alone. Ma is in the house. Ma is in the house. I'll tell you that I'm married. Ish. Okay, yeah. we didn't know that about yeah, you. I'm married. Mm-hmm. Uh, when my mom passed last year, I think she left us with my girlfriend. And we look forward to have a better future, have kids and all that. Mm. Okay, so for the crushers who are... I knew. I'm sorry, the guy is married. Don't DM me. <laughs> Albert, it's, it has been a pleasure hosting you. But before we finish, maybe you tell the viewer something. Mm, oh, first, before the assessment, I want to say, uh, as a politician, even you, you are very sure you have never seen my siblings. Yeah, yeah I'm nurturing out I'm as a truly a good politician. But one thing I go by, my family... Is always private. It yeah. will always remain. Even uh, yeah, my family, my brothers, my sisters, they love around. Some of them even they are in in the government, but they are private property to me. I know what politics comes with. It comes with the um, people want to know so much. They want to wreck into your house. They want to know how you sleep, how you wake up, how you do everything. Just as other leaders, um, my family. Uh, and any other thing, yeah, I can only tell you that, yes, I did one mistake one time. I have a young boy who is now doing well. Uh, he, the other day, he just joined kindergarten. Okay. And, Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. So uh, all of those things are my private things. I can never come out to disclose, not unless you learn through the family. I can welcome you to be part of my family. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so you are asking about... Um, a message to the viewers. Oh, a message to the viewers. Hello, viewers. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for following us, for liking this video and uh, other videos that this beautiful young lady is doing. I think uh, I've always motivated that to Tafika, Utaumoka. There is always that time that will come in your life and things happen and then we shall be in big platforms shall be in big yeah, amen yeah that and sh- keep shining thank you yes. that reminds me uh, shall i tell them yeah 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 <laughs> when, you, when oh, there's a time you were contesting it was for the secretary general no co-curricular co-curricular and you lost mm-hmm. And then I remember the first time I met you was after church. Mm. And I told you, Maloba, you are greater more than this. Yeah. Just yeah. go for president and you're going to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember? I, I remember. Yeah. And uh, I got motivated. And I think uh, 
I, I took your advice mm -hmm. and uh, I put it up and up as an opportunity. And, yeah. and then that means I'll take your advice too. Thank you so yeah. much. Asante sana. Uh, yeah, thank yeah. you so much guys for watching up to this end. If you have an idea of the next person you can host in this channel, comment down below. Thank you so much guys. Until next time, bye-bye.